You've seen railway tracks built on stone ballast your entire life. They work well for regular trains, but here's the challenge. Once trains start crossing 250 or 300 kilometers per hour, that ballast begins to fail. It shifts, it degrades, and it demands constant maintenance. Now imagine running a bullet train on that foundation. It simply wouldn't survive. So engineers around the world asked a question, what if we remove the ballast altogether? What if instead of relying on loose stones, we create a permanent rock solid base, something that doesn't move, doesn't settle, and keeps the track geometry perfectly stable for decades? That's how ballastless track or slab track was born. It looks simple, a rail mounted on a concrete slab, but hidden inside are layers of technology, elastic pads to absorb vibrations, precision alignment systems to hold the track geometry, and durability designed to handle speeds and lows we've never seen before in conventional rail. And here's the exciting part. This is not just theory. This is the very backbone of India's high-speed rail projects the same system that powers bullet trains in Japan, Europe, and China. Today in this video, we will together explore the engineering behind the railway track of a bullet train. India's bullet train project is using J-Slab system. This is a railway track which basically consists of precast RCC slabs into which the fastening system's base plates are embedded. On these embedded plates, rail is fixed with the help of fasteners. No sleepers are used here and instead precast RCC slabs can be considered as sleeper blocks for your understanding. Just like in ballasted ordinary track, rails are placed over sleepers in the same way here rails are being placed on these precast slabs. Now let's understand the various components involved in this slab track system with the help of a diagram. The main components of the J slab track system are rails. The steel rails are the topmost component of the track and are designed to withstand the immense forces generated by high-speed trains. Fastening devices. These are specialized components, such as elastic fasteners and tie plates, that securely connect the rails to the track slabs. The fastenings are adjustable, which allows for extremely precise vertical and horizontal alignment of the rails, crucial for high-speed operation. Precast RC track slabs. These are solid, prefabricated, reinforced concrete panels, each measuring approximately 4.9 meters long, 2.2 meters wide, and 190 millimeters thick. They are manufactured in factories under controlled conditions to ensure uniform quality and precision before being transported to the site for installation. We will see how they are manufactured with such a precision in later part of the video. Cement Asphalt CA Mortar Layer this is an approximately 50 millimeter thick elastic buffer layer injected between the track slab and the track bed. It is composed of cement, asphalt emulsion, and fine aggregates. The CA mortar absorbs shocks and vibrations from the trains, provides elasticity to the rigid structure, and helps maintain track alignment. RC track bed. This is a reinforced concrete foundation, roughly 300 millimeters thick, cast in situ on top of the viaduct or tunnel floor. It provides a solid and rigid base for the entire track structure. RC anchors. These are circular concrete dowels, approximately 520 millimeters in diameter, that are cast into the track bed at regular intervals. They prevent the track slabs from moving longitudinally and laterally, ensuring the track's long-term stability and precise geometry. Now for your practical understanding, Let's see these components in the real world. These are photographs taken from public website of National High Speed Railway Corporation Limited. Here we can see clearly that this is rail fixed over the J slab system. These are the fastening devices. This is precast RCC slab. This is RC track bed. And lastly, this is the RC anchor. But you may still be wondering that what is so great about this system? Why this is a necessity to run high speed trains? The next part of the video answers just that. Number one differentiator is that the flexural stiffness of slab track is considerably higher compared to ballasted track. Therefore, slab track structure deflects considerably less than the ballasted track structure. Second is that the stress level in the subsoil of ballasted track is much higher. Hence, the track geometry of ballasted track gets deteriorated frequently. 
In case of slab track, the track deformations are smoother by distributing the loads to a larger area. Third differentiator is to achieve high level of accuracy and rail levels for handling high-speed trains. Just to give you a perspective, for the design speed of 350 kilometers per hour, an accuracy of plus or minus one millimeter is required to be achieved in gauge and height of rail. Similarly, the accuracy for level and alignment to be achieved on a 10 meter cord is plus or minus two millimeters. It is possible to achieve the finished rail surface of this high accuracy and slab track with the use of rail fasteners, which allow adjustments. Such adjustments are not possible in ballasted track fastenings. The main component of the J slab system is RCC slab. Let's see how they are made. They are manufactured in factories under controlled conditions to ensure uniform quality and precision before being transported to the site for installation. Here you can see step-by-step step how these slabs are manufactured. It starts from making a high precision formwork. Its level and accuracy is checked with the help of gauges. After this, the reinforcement is placed inside this formwork. Special cover blocks are used to maintain the exact clear cover required. After this required inserts and fastenings are placed inside, which will become part of the slab. After this concrete is poured, which is prepared with the exact concrete mix design. Then vibration is given so as to complete compaction of concrete. Once solidified, the slab is removed from the formwork and is sent for curing. After completion of curing, these slabs are transported to site. RCC track bed and anchors are already casted over the viaduct. Now these slabs are directly placed over them. For this purpose, special purpose machines are deployed. Once they are placed, their levels are accurately checked and adjusted and finally, they are supported with suitable gaps to accommodate CA mortar in between track slab and RCC slabs. This is an approximately 50 millimeter thick elastic buffer layer injected between the track slab and the track bed. It is composed of cement, asphalt emulsion, and fine aggregates. The CA mortar absorbs shocks and vibrations from the trains, provides elasticity to the rigid structure, and helps maintain track alignment. After this, rails are fastened with the slab with the help of track fittings. These are high accuracy fastening, which allows engineers to even adjust the rail levels and gauge as and when required. These are spring steel plat type, direct eight type rail fastening system, which is widely used in Japanese high-speed railway system. In high-speed railway tracks, J slab system is one type of high-speed track system, which is widely used by Japanese railway. There are many other types of systems which are used worldwide in different railways. Most of these are proprietary or patented items, but overall they provide a very high quality, low maintenance track for running bullet trains. Type yes in comments section if you want me to cover more of such systems. So the next time you hear about bullet trains in Japan, Europe, China, or now India, remember this. Behind every sleek train slicing through the landscape, at 350 kilometers per hour. There's a track designed by engineers like you who dared to question ballast and build something better. This is more than just civil engineering. It's a new language of precision, speed, and durability. And if you're watching this as a civil engineer, you're not just learning about technology, you're learning about your future battlefield. Subscribe now because every video here is another step in becoming the kind of engineer who builds the future, not just studies the past.